All right, Miss Judy. So you started training how long ago? We started last September. Okay, so it's been just about a year. All right, and what was your main goals with Buddy when you started? Control. I had had, a, Buddy was doing pretty well, and then I got surgery, and the routine was broke, he was lost. I was lost. And it got to the point that I was afraid I was going to get a half to get rid of the dog. Because mm -hmm. he pulled me down a couple times, and I had absolutely no control. Okay. And so now that you've been training for about a year, you've gotten control of them. You can take them places, right? I not only take them places, he passed the canine good citizenship test, in addition to which he passed the sit, stay, read test, which is where he's a dog that goes into classrooms and sits and waits for kids to read their books and stories for And that was one of your goals when you started, that wasn't it? Exactly one of my goals. That's been one of my goals with all of my dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say that training really helped you achieve that goal? Oh yes. I, I will say this. I've trained four Airedales. And the other three, I was younger, I was able to train them old fashioned. And I mean that is a lot of patience and whatever. The electronic collar and learning to use it correctly has given me the, the wherewithal to train this dog faster. I'm not a spring chicken anymore. We're so proud of you, Judy. That uh, show on NBC, airing around the country, everyone knows Buddy now. Well, Buddy never would have been on that show if it hadn't been for you guys, I know. Well, I you're famous it. now, so we appreciate it. <laughs> He's doing paw graphics anytime you want. What's that? Paw graphics. Oh my gosh, I paw love that. Paw We're going to have to get one and frame it. Right. Or put it in the cement outside. Right. <laughs> Thanks, Judy. You're